Hi everybody, it's Annette from The Art of Intuition, and I've got to hold up my tripod because it's super windy, super windy outside today. Um, that's okay. We will. We are going to push on, and we are going to talk about doubt today, and how massive doubt energy is in our body. Okay, I'm going to let this go. Hopefully, the wind has died down. It won't blow over. Okay, we're going to talk about doubt. And we're going to talk about how doubt kind of changes as we go through the process. Because in the beginning, we doubt in a totally different way. You know, we doubt when we start getting our superpowers. You know, we start being able to hear. Maybe your clear audience starts coming through. Your clairvoyance starts coming through. You start noticing that you're dreaming things that haven't happened yet, but they start to happen. You know, you're dreaming the future. You start to notice all of these sort of things that our human would say, wow, I can't believe, you know, I can't believe that's really going to happen. I can't believe that really happened. Is this really real? I will get a lot of people that will come to me and go, is this really happening? You know, they start really getting into telepathy. You start really getting into all the things you know, all the, the fields you can read, and how crazy and crazy to our human it is. But it's really our natural state. But in the beginning, we don't realize that. You know, so it's weird. So we start doubting. Oh my gosh, is this really happening? Oh my gosh, is this really, am I imagining this? You know, I think about a song, I turn the radio and the song's on. I think about a person who's call. I'm, I'm able to kind of know something's going to happen before it happens. I know what I'm supposed to do. But I maybe have a lot of fear about doing it. So our doubts kind of surfaced in that way in the beginning. Sorry. Okay. The wind died down again. I can't shoot inside today, so we're going to have to make do. We're going to have to make do. Um, it's much more inspiring out here anyway. It's much more inspiring to be outside watching, watching the birds. So our doubts go from, is this really happening to, am I doing the right thing? You know, am I following the path of least resistance, even though it feels like it's so much resistance? And I'm, I'm going to break that down a little bit because when we start going through actually starting to align our life, we get doubts in a whole different way. And we get doubts in a, oh my God, wait, in the beginning it's when your powers start coming through, it's like, oh my God, am I going crazy kind of way. And then you get the doubts of, oh my God, have I gone crazy and did I ruin my entire life? Because everything I worked so hard for, you know, our human is going to say that, your human aspect, your ego aspect is going to say that. Everything I worked so hard for is just getting completely demolished. You know, everything that was so important before. Everything that the human realms told me I had to do, you know. Whatever that is for you. The whole structure, really. All of it, you know. It seemed like it was so important before. And now it, it's just not as important anymore. It's just not, it doesn't matter. And it's all going to, it's just collapsing in, right in front of me. And people who are really still in their human consciousness are going to, speak your doubts back to you. You know, they're going to say, oh my God, you ruined your entire life. Oh my God, look what's happened. Oh my God, what's going on? You're going to hear that a lot. And you're really going to have to connect deeper and deeper within to assure yourself that it, in a way, you did ruin your life. <laughs> but, but you ruined your human life. You, you didn't ruin your higher, amazing, soul-aligned life. That's what you're creating. But since it doesn't look like your human life, one has to go for the other can come through. It's not that I can live my soul on life and keep all my human stuff too. You know, it doesn't work that way. Sometimes I wish it did work that way because it would be an easier transition. But because it doesn't work that way, we'll tend to kind of set and think we did it wrong or, you know, I screwed it up really bad. And you're going to have all these doubts kind of start to come in. Like, yeah. What, what am I doing? You know, am I really doing the right thing? Especially when you're trying to still live in, when still live on a planet where a majority of the, a majority of the, the population is still in a, in our human ego consciousness. You know, they're still holding up that collective and you don't kind of fit in there anymore. You know, you don't really have any of the you're not playing the good little human game in a way. So you're kind of ostracized in a sense, you know. So you really can't go back and play in the, it reminds me of the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> can't play any of the reindeer games anymore. You are not allowed. And one, we're not allowed to do it. And, and two, we're, in the beginning, we're not, we can't be there anymore. We've kind of been pushed out, you know. 
it's kind of our own part of cancel culture. We kind of cancel ourselves and we leave, you know, we kind of just take the exit. We sneak out the window when no one's looking in a sense. Some of us sneak out the window, some of us take a more dramatic exit, but it's our own kind of version of cancel culture. We cancel ourselves, you know, we remove ourselves from the collective and we kind of kind of ghost in a sense, you know, you kind of, it, you don't exist in those collectives anymore. It's just it's a different frequency. You technically don't even vibrate there anymore. You, you don't exist there anymore. Those are totally going to be alien to you. For, for a long, long time, they just are. You don't exist there anymore. You can go back and check in to see what's going on. Sometimes I'll do that. Very rarely, though, anymore. I do that. Because it doesn't really matter. Because it's not the reality which I live. You know, it's not the reality and the journey that I want to go on. So it doesn't really matter what's happening there. But when the doubts start to come through, and they will, I will promise you they will, they'll start to come through and you're going to wonder, did I screw up everything? And you really can't screw up the journey. You also can't avoid it because when it's your time, it's your time and you agreed to do all these things, you know? <laughs> you agreed. Holy crap. I'm glad I, I'm glad I put my hair up which is actually falling down anyway, um, you agreed to do all these things, you know, you agreed to, okay. you agreed to fulfill these roles, you know, you can't really get out of it, you can't really say, oh, I don't want to do it anymore, because it, it, it's not easy, and this is not going to be easy, it can take years before the journey eases up in a sense, it starts out kind of easy, but then when you have to start aligning everything, that can take years. You know, I don't even know how many years I have been in aligning stuff. Seven, or, you know, seven years, and you, you end up having so many doubts. And you're going to find what you resist the most is where you're supposed to go. So when your human's really resisting something, look at what that is, because it's probably what your soul needs the most, you know. And we go back to a lot of different realities because we're supposed to, you know, we're supposed to go back. We're supposed to revisit different things to see how far we've come to see how can we hold our field around people who are unconscious. And that's not a judgment on the people that are unconscious, you know, because we were too. And there's still an aspect of us, you know, there's always going to be that teeny aspect of us that's always going to be working through something. can't believe how windy it is. The wind always kicks up when I start recording. <laughs> oh, it always kicks up when I start recording. So a lot of times we, we go back to certain things, we have to finish things up. You know, we have to close out certain chapters that we can't close out unless you revisit different places. Unless you go back and look, look at different things and, and see how far we've come and how we don't really play in that bullshit anymore. You know, we don't play in that consciousness anymore. But can also, can you respect the people who do and coexist in, in a sense? probably better than you could coexist before when you were all in the same consciousness because everyone's playing in the ego games at that point. So when you go back as a higher self in a sense, you're going back as a transcended being in a sense, it's easier because you're not playing in any of the bullshit. You don't care. You know, you can respect where people are, but you're not playing in it and you see how far you've, you've evolved. So I know this is getting a little off track. We were kind of in talking about doubt energy, but it kind of all comes into it. You're going to see how far you've come and see how much of the old ego programming you have dissolved and left behind. And now none of that stuff really matters anymore because now you're into something else. You know, now you're, now you're on to the next stage of your journey and whatever that's going to be. Like I'm going to be moving around a little bit, I think, and just seeing different places and that does also activate a lot of freedom codes and you start to kind of like right now I'm out in the country and I did not want to come out in the country because <laughs> I grew up in the country it's like I don't want to go back to the country and I had a lot of doubt about that you know I did not want to go and then once I got here I'm like oh my god it's so pretty it's so calm it's so quiet <laughs> that it's almost exactly what you need so Look at what you feel drawn to do. Look at what your, your human is resisting. And when your human is resisting it, it's because you have a story around it. So if you have a story around why you can't do it, why it won't work, why it won't support you, look at the story because that's your human talking. Uh, you might come to the same conclusion and maybe that's not highest line for you to do. Maybe it is. And you just don't want to because you, you have doubts, you have judgment about what you have to go do or what you're seeing that you have to go do. So 
Okay. I'm going to cut this off. Hopefully it's not going to fall again. Keep practicing the art of intuition. <laughs>